Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about human evolution, we are going to talk about anthropology. So the first question, what percent of the current world population lives within 10 miles of the river? So 10 miles uh, who using metric system is about 16 kilometers. And here is a variance to choose from. I want to give you a few more seconds to think. And the answer is pretty simple. 90% of the current population live within 10 miles from the rivers. And of course, you can imagine that in ancient times, when humans didn't have such infrastructure, like we have to move water, in some location we can bring water with trucks, in some we can bring it with pipes, and still about 90% of the modern population lives within 10 miles from the rivers. This gives us information that whenever we look for movement of people, the roots of movement in ancient times, we should look for rivers. But for example, on this picture you do not see any rivers, but it doesn't mean that there was not rivers here, for example, 100,000 years ago or 70,000 years ago. For example, if you take a look at this picture, you would see roots of movement of humans from the Africa. And there is northern route and also southern route. But here, as you see, there is a water. So how people, those primitive people, were able to cross this board of water. About 100,000 years ago, 130,000 years ago, it was a peak of the glacial period and there was not water here. So people just can move from Africa to Arabian Peninsula by land. But if you think that we rely on the leftovers of human activity, which we can find along the shoreline, this is not quite so. Actually, all the sites are within this area, which is a desert right now, but in that time, about 100,000 years ago, it was savanna-like. So it was uh, full of rivers, full of life here, and all excavation sites that we have right now, we only have within uh, this area. And also, why we don't find anything along the shoreline? Because water means life and ocean, basically can provide everything we need. Now I want you to take a look at this picture from the same period of time. And here is Australia, but you see a strange name here, Sahul, because it was about 100,000 years ago. And as you see, the shape of this continent was different. It was much larger, again, because the water level was much lower, about by 60 meters. And as you see, here is a hundreds, if not thousands, islands right now, but at that time it was one piece of land, which uh, also we call not Indonesia, but Sunda. Now you understand that if we start looking for human activity along this uh, present day shoreline, we are not going to find it, because at the ancient time it was a different place, which is under the water right now. This also explains why we cannot find any human activity along this shoreline, because it was very different at those times. And in present days, it's probably hundreds of miles from where it is used to be. And of course, we cannot find anything under the water. Now let's check the second question. What adaptations allowed humans to migrate from Africa into Asia? Now you know the answer. For example, answer A, humans built boats, so they were able to travel along the coasts. Probably not. Those, probably they were living along the coast, but we don't know anything about them being able to travel by boats. So this is probably not the correct answer. Variant B, humans adapted to coastal environments, 
to find food, probably this is also correct answer, but we don't see any proof of it. No evidence is left. And I already explained why those probably this is the correct variants to choose from. And variant C, humans use Neanderthal straight routes to migrate into Asia from Africa. This is also not true, especially in a light that trade routes. Of course, uh, Neanderthals didn't have any trade and trade routes. And variant D, humans did what they did in Africa and followed river highways. And this is going to be the correct answer through all human history, people didn't go far from uh, source of the water. If now 90% of the population lives within just 10 miles from the river, in ancient times they just have to live next to water, whether it is ocean or river. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.